Hello everyone welcome to my channel. Please subscribe now my channel and see videos. Stay tuned for new videos and encourage others to watch my channel videos. The Strathmore Rose Tower has not been worn since the 1930s. Kate Middleton is bejeweled in a historic piece of headwear. On Tuesday evening, the Princess of Wales joined her husband, Prince William, King Charles I. I. Queen Camilla and other members of the royal family for the state banquet in honor of the President of the Republic of Korea and his wife at Buckingham Palace. For the white tie affair, the 41-year-old royal debuted the Queen Mother's Strathmore Rose Tiara. Kate is only the second person to wear the piece of elegant headwear, which has not been seen in public for decades. While it was a big part of her attire, the topper was the perfect complement to Kate's floor-length white dress by Jenny Packham. The ensemble featured gold embellishments and structured shoulders. Kate continued to honor Queen Elizabeth II as she wore a pair of her earrings. The court jeweler reports that the tiara was named for the Queen Mother's father, the Earl of Strathmore and Kinghorn. It was a wedding gift presented to her when she married Queen Elizabeth's father, Prince Albert, the future King George V.I. While delicate, the floral tiara contains larger flowers and can be worn on top of the head or around the bottom of the forehead, which was the Queen Mother's preference. It's also versatile as it can be disassembled and wore in pieces as a brooch. Kate is only the second person to wear the tiara in public, after the Queen Mother. The Strathmore Rose Tiara is the fourth tiara Kate has worn since her time as a royal. In 2011, on her wedding day, Kate wore the Cartier Hello Tiara. Two years later, in 2013, she debuted the Lotus Flower Tiara, which she wore again in 2015 and 2022. However, her go-to is the Queen Mary's Lover's Knock Tiara, which has become her signature. Prior to the banquet, Kate debuted another piece of extravagant headwear. During the welcome engagements for the South Korean president, Kate wore a new red wide-brimmed red wool hat by Jane Taylor, which she paired with an all-red look by Catherine Walker and Co. In a dazzling display of regal elegance, the Duchess of Cambridge, Kate Middleton, graced the halls of Buckingham Palace in a 100-year-old tiara for a banquet that echoed with the whispers of history and the sparkle of bygone eras. The event, a grand celebration that brought together dignitaries, diplomats, and royalty from around the world, was not just a feast for the senses but a testament to the enduring allure of tradition and heritage. The tiara, a family heirloom passed down through generations, held within its intricate design a century's worth of stories, secrets, and the timeless beauty that transcends the boundaries of time. As Kate ascended the grand staircase of Buckingham Palace, her presence exuded a quiet confidence, a graceful acknowledgement of the responsibility bestowed upon her to carry the legacy of the royal family into a new era. The tiara itself, known as the Lover's Knot, was originally commissioned by Queen Mary in 1913. A breathtaking masterpiece crafted by the renowned House of Gerard, the tiara featured a delicate network of diamonds and pearls, intricately woven together to form a timeless work of art. Its name, the Lover's Knot, was derived from the series of bow-shaped knots that adorned its regal structure, symbolizing not only the intricacies of love, but also the unbreakable ties that bind a family across generations. For Kate Middleton, the choice to wear the Lover's Knot tiara held a significance that extended beyond the realm of fashion and opulence. It was a deliberate nod to the rich history of the royal family and a subtle acknowledgement of the responsibilities she bore as a representative of the monarchy. As the doors of the Grand Banquet Hall swung open, revealing the opulent setting that awaited, Kate's entrance was met with a collective gasp from the assembled guests. The tiara catching the light in a cascade of glimmering reflections transformed the Duchess into a vision of timeless beauty. The diamonds sparkled like stars in the night sky, and the pearls added a touch of soft radiance, creating a harmonious contrast that accentuated Kate's natural grace. The lover's knot tower, with its delicate filigree and symmetrical design, seemed to echo the sentiment of continuity and tradition. Each diamond, carefully set in its place, whispered tales of previous wearers, queens and princesses who had adorned the same piece on occasions steeped in history. It was a silent witness to royal weddings, diplomatic receptions, and state banquets, a silent companion to the ebb and place at the head of the banquet table, 
the tiara became a symbol of continuity, linking the present to the past. It was more than a piece of jewelry, it was a tangible connection to the legacy of the royal family, a bridge between generations that transcended the confines of a glittering headpiece. Throughout the evening, as the banquet unfolded in a symphony of clinking crystal and murmured conversations, Kate carried herself with a regal poise that seemed to be inherited from the countless queens who had come before her. The lover's knot Tara, perched atop her head, was a crown of history, a reminder that each royal engagement was not just a contemporary event, but a chapter in an ongoing narrative of tradition and duty. The banquet itself was a spectacle of grandeur, with courses that showcased the finest culinary delights and a guest list that read like a who's who of international diplomacy. Yet amid the splendor, it was the subtle details that captured the imagination, the glint of diamonds, the rustle of silk, and the quiet conversations that unfolded in the shadow of centuries-old portraits. As the night progressed, Kate's choice to wear the lover's knot tara became a topic of discussion among the guests. Admirers marveled at the tara's timeless beauty, while historians waxed poetic about its historical significance. The decision to showcase this particular piece was seen by many as a deliberate choice to honor the past while embracing the present, a delicate balancing act that the Duchess seemed to execute with effortless grace. The lover's knot tara had a storied history of its own, Originally gifted to Queen Mary on her wedding day by the girls of Great Britain and Ireland, it had since been passed down through the generations. Queen Elizabeth I had worn it in her younger years, creating an indelible image of regal sophistication that lingered in the public consciousness. Now, in the capable hands of Kate Middleton, it underwent a subtle transformation, blending the classic with the contemporary. In the days that followed the banquet, photographs of Kate adorned with the lover's knot tara graced the covers of magazines and newspapers worldwide. Fashion critics applauded the choice, lauding the Duchess for her ability to seamlessly integrate tradition into modernity. The tiara, though a relic of the past, became a style icon for a new generation, symbolizing the enduring allure of timeless elegance. As the grand event concluded and guests bid their farewells, the lover's knot tara found its way back into the protective custody of the royal vaults. Yet its sparkle lingered in the collective memory, a testament to the power of symbolism and the role that fashion plays in shaping the narrative of a nation. For Kate Middleton, the night of the Buckingham Palace banquet marked not only a moment of sartorial triumph, but a subtle assertion of her role within the royal family. The lover's knot tara, with its rich history and ethereal beauty, became a metaphor for the delicate balancing act that defined her position, a fusion of tradition and modernity, duty and personal identity. As the Duchess stepped out of the palace into the cool night air, the lover's knot tara glistening under the soft glow of the palace lights, she carried with her the weight of history and the promise of a future yet to unfold. The echoes of the banquet, the clinking of crystal, and the whispers of bygone eras accompanied her into the darkness, leaving behind a tableau of regal elegance that would be etched into the annals of royal lore.